might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are Hi everyone, I hope everyone is having a great day today. It's a little overcast here right now and uh, me and Kevin has some um, errands to um, do and so I'm doing a crock pot meal and uh, I didn't start off and say our channel name but it's Southern Country Living and um, today I'm making a crock pot Catalina chicken and um, I think this is going to be a really good meal. I'm going to layer it over some rice and I think my sides today is going to be green beans and um, so uh, when we get home today we won't feel like doing a lot of cooking and this meal will be waiting on us and so we will really enjoy it. I have a lot of things to do today because we are uh, getting ready for a wedding this weekend and so uh, I thought this crop meal, crop pot meal will really come in handy. So let me get started on mixing up uh, the sauce that goes over it. I'm going to be putting in, let's see, one cup of salad dressing, so I'm just going to estimate Okay, I think that's about enough. <laughs> and so now then I'm going to be putting in my uh, marmalade. And also I'm going to be putting in this Lipton, um, it's called uh, Lipton Recipe Secrets Lincoln Soup Mix. So I'm going to be putting in that next. I'm going to put in in one package. And then I'm going to be putting in a fourth of this uh, called sugar-free peach preserves so that Calvin can eat it. <laughs> he has to watch his sugar. And I really hadn't looked to see if uh, this has sugar in it or not. Calvin usually does that for me. Did you look, Calvin? I didn't check it. Okay, we don't know about that yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stir this up. Mm, that really does smell good. That Catalina and the uh, sugar-free peach preserves. Okay, and this is a real easy recipe. I've already got my crock pot sprayed, and so I'm going to, you can put as much as six chicken breasts in here, but I'm going to just be putting four, and Calvin is going to do another recipe uh, with the other two um, sometime this week. Isn't that what you said you was going to do, Calvin? Yeah, yeah, we're going to try to do that. Okay, so now that I'm going to be putting my um, sauce on my chicken, these are some big chicken breasts. <laughs> Thank you. 
when you have big chicken breasts like this, a crock pot makes them a lot more tenderer. And uh, since we are incorporating a lot more chicken in our diet, so y'all probably get a lot more, uh, more of our chicken recipes. And I'm going to be cooking this on low today for four to five hours. And so when we get back, it'll be really appreciated. And I hope y'all are having a great day. And uh, we'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, I'm back and uh, our house is really smelling amazing, isn't it, Calvin? It smells great. <laughs> I think this is going to be a good little meal for us, don't you? I'm looking forward to it. We had fun on our uh, shopping trip while we were gone, and so I sure would have hated to have to come home today and then uh, cook. <laughs> so I'm glad I've got this meal waiting on me. And uh, I don't know if some of you know what I'm cooking though, but it's called crock pot Catalina chicken. And so, like I said, it really smells good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a little slurry for it. And so I'm gonna put two tablespoons full. And this right here is called um, Argan cornstarch. It sure is starting to look nice out there this morning. It was overcast. <laughs> it's looking good out there now. Okay. So, and this is two uh, tablespoons of water. I'm making a little paste here to thicken up my juices and my chicken. And I'll this goes in the last 30 minutes of your um, cooking time. So let me pour this in here now. Okay. This is going to be really good over some rice, isn't it, <laughs> Calvin? It smells wonderful. <laughs> Okay, so I'll be back in about 30 minutes when this gets a little bit more thickened up and then we'll serve it over a bit of rice and then we'll have a side uh, dish with it. Okay, I'm back, and uh, this house really, like I said a while ago, really does smell good, and I can't wait to uh, taste this recipe. I've never made it before, but it looks like it's going to be really good. And I also um, did a different recipe with my green beans, and so uh, I'm going to try those also <laughs> and see how I like them. Okay, and I cooked my chicken to an um, internal temperature of 165. And so it's good and done. Mm. 
It's very tender, and I like the peach uh, preserves in the jelly. That recipe was really delicious. <laughs> and uh, the chicken, when I cut it, it was real tender. And I have a pretty fat piece of chicken right there. <laughs> and it, it was really good. I love the way that the uh, peach uh, preserves were um, in the recipe, how it made it taste just give it that little bit of sweetness. And so it, it, was, it tasted really good. I'll definitely be trying it again. And let me try one of these green beans. They have a little bit of crunch to them. And um, I sort of like that instead of uh, cooking them where all the um, minerals and everything is out of them. So it, it tastes, they tasted really good. And I could taste that little hint of... Uh, Italian seasoning in them and that really flavored them up really good in the garlic powder and uh, they, They're really delicious, too. I definitely will be trying this meal again And I hope if y'all try it that y'all enjoy it and like it, too So I guess I'm gonna close the video out now So y'all do what you love and love what you do and I'm really tired <laughs> I've been on a shop. I went on a shopping trip um, today and so I'm glad I had this meal to um, fall back on. Okay, so I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye! Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago and pine for them old days of yore. Let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall. Well, let my mind go serene like a cool water stream that runs from 